Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah, salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve ashabihi ve man wala ve ba'd. Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu anhu, he reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem, he said, Arham ummeti bi ummeti Abu Bakr. That the most compassionate member of my nation towards my nation is Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu. وَأَشَدُّهُمْ فِي أَمْرِ اللَّهِ عُمَرٌ And the strictest regarding the religious matters is Umar رضي الله عنه وَأَصْدَقُهُمْ حَيَاءً عُثْمَانٌ And the most genuinely modest is Uthman وَأَعْلَمُهُمْ بِالْحَلَالِ وَالْحَرَامِ مُعَاذِ بْنِ جَبَلٍ And the most learned about what is lawful and what is prohibited is Muadh ibn Jabal وَأَفْرَضُهُمْ زَيْدُ بْنُ ثَابِتِ And the one who knows most about the laws of inheritance is Zayd ibn Thabit. وَأَقْرَأُهُمْ أُبَيْ بْنُ كَعْبِ And the one who is most able in the recitation of the Qur'an is Ubay ibn Ka'b. وَلِكُلِّ أُمَّةٍ أَمِينٍ And every nation has a trustworthy guardian. وَأَمِينُ هَذِي الْأُمَّةِ Abu Ubaidah ibn al-Jarrah. And the ameen of this ummah is Abu Ubaidah ibn al-Jarrah. And in a narration it says, وَقْضَاهُمْ عَلِي And the most learned in the legal matters is Ali رضي الله عنه. This narration of the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم, he highlights certain qualities of his companions. Now, that is not to say that these descriptions are in any way exclusive to that individual. Meaning, it does not mean that Mu'az ibn Jabal is the only one who knew the matters competently and expertly in the matters of halal and haram and the other companions did not. But rather what we should understand from this narration is that every single person would always lean towards one thing and one element and one aspect and one component. Because that is the nature of, of human beings. That we like one area, whenever we study, we generally gravitate towards one area. And this is what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is pointing out. That even within my companions, there are those who like the legal matters. And they are more aware of them. And then you have Zayd ibn Thabit. He is someone who was competent and an expert in the matters of inheritance. And you have Ubay ibn Ka'b, who was an expert reciter. And you have Ali radiallahu anhu, who was the best in judgment. So similarly, when we are seeking knowledge, there are two elements to this. One is that the student of knowledge should also understand that once they have a general overview of the sciences, that they should gravitate towards one of them and try to specialize in one area for their benefit and the benefit of their community as well. And in that aspect, what the scholars generally say is that a student should look, look around in their community and see what is lacking. What is it that this community needs more of? Where is there the gap? And they should focus on that area so that they can benefit their community in that specific area. And also, students, they should look towards, when they're looking towards teachers, they should also look in this paradigm as well. Because there will be certain teachers who will be experts in certain areas. And therefore, if you have the ability to go study under someone who, is, who has greater competency in one area over another, then you will find that you will be much ahead than other students. Because a person who is competent in one area, and they have the depth in terms of subject knowledge, etc., then they will be able to explain the matter much better than anyone else. So this applies to both the student and, and the teachers. And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He grants us tawfiq, He then guides us to understand. And after one note of here today, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi al-akhirati hasana, wa fi na'adha bin-nar. Rabbana atqabbal minna inna kanta s-sami'u al-alim, wa tuba alayna inna kanta t-tawwabu al-rahim.